So today I'm going to be doing my May favorites video since I have not done a favorites video in quite a while, longer than a month, which is not acceptable. Today, since I haven't done a favorites video in so long, I'm going to do kind of a favorites blowout where it's not just going to be makeup, but it's going to be like my favorite hairstyle of the month, my favorite you know, TV shows, music, which is something you guys always ask about. Thank you guys so much for having good musical taste. And just everything that I liked this month. I figured that would be a fun thing. I'm just gonna go through makeup first. I had kind of a more minimalistic month this month for makeup, which is weird because in any video that I posted this month, I was wearing more makeup. But in reality, like even now, I'm wearing more makeup, weird. Normally, I don't wear this much makeup. I'm wearing literally like mascara and like a little bit of foundation just because I'm not really feeling the whole summertime sweaty, runny makeup. Because I mean, especially in the South, it's just like, there's no point in doing that to yourself. So that means that my makeup this month was kind of just simple makeup items like pencil eyeliners and mascaras and things like that. So I'm just going to go through my favorites of that genre. So first favorite is the Leole, 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 Dollish Veil Vita BB Blemish Balm Vitamin Care Makeup Base. Um, that is a mouthful. It is just basically what I've been using for foundation this month. And I know it's supposed to just be like a makeup base and like you're supposed to put your foundation over it. But honestly, it provides so much coverage that I don't really feel Feel like I need to wear anything else. What it is, is it is a, let's see if we can see this, a white cream that when you rub it in, it turns into your foundation color. It is pretty light, which means that I do have to put bronzer over it, but it's just supposed to brighten your skin. It's got a purple tinge to it, which is supposed to give you that brightening effect. Brightening products are always normally purple. It's because Purple naturally brings out kind of like a brighter skin tone. That's basically all I've been wearing on my skin foundation wise just because anything else and it will run off my face which is not attractive at all. Plus no one likes someone with caked on foundation so why do that to yourself? After that along with a brightening uh, foundation if my skin's looking really dull because I am on a new like acne medication system kind of thing um, and if you guys want me to do a video over that I will. It's really really helped my skin. It's something that you have to get prescribed though so I mean I don't even know if you want to see a video on that. The problem with the skincare thing is it's very, 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 very harsh on your skin because it's basically just like redoing your skin, just getting rid of everything and starting over again. And so my skin peels like no other. So I want to have like a more brightened face rather than a duller face because that seems to be the problem as of late. So I also use my Benefit What's Up highlighter to just kind of brighten my cheeks and my nose and my, my cupid's bow and everything. If you notice, I've got kind of a glow going on all over the place. That is this. Basically, it is just a really, really pretty brightening glow. And it's, it's really great for people who just have like dull skin and not fun stuff like that. Even when it gets kind of hot and it kind of smears a little bit, uh, it almost looks better because it just makes your face look glowy, you know? But not sweaty or greasy, which is something I try to avoid. Then I've also been loving these two little bad boys right here. Um, these are the Physician Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Powder and Boosting Blush. And both of these have this awesome color payoff, this awesome scent. This is the blush that I'm wearing right now. And this is the bronzer I put over my foundation. I'm wearing both of these. Um, so you see my bronzer up here and my blush down here. They're just really, really great products. I love the way they look. Um, and they really do make you like, yeah, this is a good day. There's a happiness factor with your, like, your makeup looking good. So I guess that's where they get the idea that it's going to boost your mood. I know they also say they contain some sort of chemical that's supposed to... Uh, release endorphins or something like that. They smell like like la like I don't know flowers. Like they just smell really floral and pretty, and they remind me a lot of something that Clinique would put out. Um, if that helps at all, I really really like these. These I would consider Physicians Formula like the drugstore equivalent of Clinique because that's what I always think of whenever I'm buying these kind of things. So yeah, I've been sticking with a lot of like smudgeable pencil liners just so I can get a little bit of color with like n really nothing added to it. And I know I showed this in my haul last time and it has become one of my favorites within the last like 10 days. Um, and it is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. And it is just your classic brown eyeliner. And so what I do is I just smudge that into my upper lash line, blend it a little bit and I'm done for the day. Like, that's normally what I'm wearing. I really like the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner, and this one's in a purple color that's called Black Violet, and it is what it says it is. It's like a black violet. If you have green eyes or colored eyes, purple will always make your eyes look good, regardless of what color it is. Um, even brown eyes, actually. They bring out a lot of the yellow hue in your brown eyes, so 
I don't know, I just really, really like the way that purple eyeliner looks. It always looks fresh. On the same side as like purple being good for brightening your face, same thing with your eyes. If you're putting purple on, it's instantly gonna make your eye whites like pop and your color pop. So it's great if you're having a dull day. And the mascaras that I've been using this month, since I have been a mascara abuser this month, like that's all I wear. Honestly guys, if you're gonna get any kind of mascara ever, like if you're new to makeup and you don't get any other mascara, get any kind of Maybelline Falsies mascara or Volume Express mascara. Those two, these two guys right here, are the only mascaras I will ever wear again because they are the best. I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of people have different types of eyelashes. I mean, naturally you would. For my eyelashes personally, these are the two mascaras that don't dry them out or make them look oily. It stays on forever. It isn't clumpy. It isn't flaky. It's just it's just the best. So that's Falsies Flared, which has been my new favorite. Any Falsies is good. Um, and then the Maybelline One by One Volume Express, which any Volume Express is good, even though I prefer this one, because I mean, look how pretty the packaging is. It's nice and summery, right? It reminds me of a mermaid. So that was my makeup for the month. Now, on to my favorite perfumes. I've had two favorites recently. It's Dolce & Gabbana The One, which is more of, I would say, like a little bit more of like a sensual, warm, caramel, nighttime evening scent. Almost one of those scents that anytime anyone wears it, you just know that they're wearing it and it's it's personal in a way that is weird because I smell it on other people. I'm like, oh that's the one. And it always smells completely different on other people versus me, which I think is kind of cool and it says something about Dolce & Gabbana. They make good perfumes. Um, so that one is so good. The one is so good. My other favorite is kind of a more fruity scent, one that I would wear during the daytime, and that is Love Struck by Vera Wang. And I know I bought this recently and I raved about it. It's because it's one of my favorite perfumes and I've smelled it every time I go into Sephora and I never bought it and I was like, I need to buy this. Like, stop selling art and just get it. So Oh, I did and yeah, it just makes me happy like I don't know perfume bottles are fun, you know <laughs> much more floral It's still got kind of a vanilla caramel desserty kind of scent But much more wearable for the daytime and more citrusy if that helps floral and citrusy um, It's kind of a combo of all my favorite flavors, which is probably why I like it so much So then as for favorite hair of the month literally it has been any type of like scrunched deal with it kind of hair um, like right now I'm just wearing a low ponytail because it's the easiest thing that I could think of this morning, you know? Like, it's just summer's one of those days where I'm just like, if I look good, I look good. If I don't, I don't. The reason why I'm just so minimalistic with my hair and stuff during summer is because I own a convertible. Don't get all offended yet. It's really old. I'm 89 or 81. I always get the dates mixed up. Um, but it's a little beamer. I love it so much, but anytime I try to make my hair look cute, it ruins it. So there's no point in even trying to do my hair. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna scrunch it and go. Like, it'll look good. It'll look better in the convertible if I scrunch it, um, because it gives it so much volume with it scrunched. I've been obsessed with Mad Men, and their hair is always so cute in there. And so I've been trying to get into like rollers and make my hair look really 60s and like cute. I put it all up, it looks pretty for like two hours and then I go ride in my convertible and it ruins it. And it's just a sad, sad day. So I, I've just stopped trying. My favorite TV show has been Mad Men. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're a younger uh, group of individuals. Um, but I do love the show. I love Mad Men, I love Chopped. Oh, Chopped is such a good show. The mystery baskets and everything. If you've never watched the Food Network, go watch Chopped because it will get you addicted to food shows. Like I watched Paula Deen for like three hours yesterday just because, I don't know, I had already watched Chopped and I was like, what else can I watch that's about food? Paula Deen, sticks of butter. So my favorite nail polish color has been Nude. This is Julep. It's just their nude color. I can't even remember what it's called. I think it's just called Nude. Um, but I have been obsessed with Julep nail polish. I was, oh my gosh. So then my favorite music of the month, which you guys always ask me about my music. My music is primarily a lot of Kate Nash, a lot of Lily Allen, a lot of um, Ingrid Michaelson, a lot of... Um, Postal Service, again, I love Postal Service, I've always loved Postal Service, a lot of No in the Whales, um, and a lot of Iron and Wine, Mumford and Sons, I have strangely been liking Mumford and Sons because I've never liked them before, and for some reason lately I've just been really liking them. Suf John Stevens, I don't exactly know how to say his name. His songs are literally probably the, one of the most depressing things I've ever listened to, but I really like him, like his music is great, but it's just like mind-numbingly depressing. You just have to be in a certain mindset to like his music. 
If you've ever, ever, ever wanted to just know what I listen to constantly, go on Pandora and make a Kate Nash station, make a Sue Jan Stevens station, make a Regina Spector station, an Ingrid Michaelson station, and Lily Allen station. Just go on Pandora and just make stations like that. And then you'll find artists that you love like I did. Easy as that. So that is it for my May favorites. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was kind of long, but it's because I had a lot of favorites this month. And I decided to do a blowout because you guys deserve it. I haven't had a good video in a while. Don't forget to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, um, anything like that. You can send me letters at my PO box. I'll put the link to that in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.